Our cabinet group spent the day when, in a pretty empty Warren library. The first four hours we read some scripture and we had total silence after that until we broke bread at lunch. And we just listened to what God had to say to us about specifically opening the campus and what else he wanted to tell us. And it was very interesting. Every single member of cabinet, individually and collectively, heard the same thing from God, but in different ways. And what we heard was, I'm not going to give you every answer. You need to keep coming back to me. However, open. There's never been a more important time in all of this country's history than this time in the middle of COVID for the students that you prepare that are servant leaders. So the transformative experience you have here, open and go forward. And in fact, he was very faithful to that. So as we followed that, we put together protocols, we put together a team to open in the fall. And thanks to God, grace, and the creative solutions and wonderful team effort of everyone in this room, we continued to provide that invaluable in-person university classroom experience, even while as many as 80% of the schools in our nation were unable to do so. Some of them simply brought students back to their dorms and then had total 100% online education still. We were committed to in-person classroom education. So I'm so thankful to every single one of you and the faculty and staff who helped to make that possible. We continued chapel and workship. We started wordship. We made truly significant initial strides in matters relating to diversity and racial harmony and named Dr. Terrell Bird as our inaugural fellow in intercultural engagement. To God be the glory, great things he has done. As we thank God for his grace, protection, and provision during this time of COVID, you should know that financially PBA is better off than other schools, especially when we consider our vibrant, thriving location. And a deposit on our Flagler Towers will give us a one-time boost that we're using to invest in our future while we belt tighten and make sure that every penny is used wisely today. With the addition of our new Executive Vice President for Advancement, Laura Bishop, we know that we can grow our endowment, which will give us long-term continued stability. And again, by God's grace, we are here in this room celebrating together today. These are not our achievements. Rather, they are the result of God's grace to PBA. And for that, we are grateful. As our university forefathers did, we have committed to prayerfully discerning God's will for PBA and following his calling. Our mission remains to transform this world by preparing students to be compassionate, curious, innovative, and prayerful servant leaders. We're incredibly grateful to be able to continue in-person teaching during a pandemic to honor our mission. Uh, just two weeks ago, um, the Lord put on my heart to preach on Zacchaeus. You remember the song? He was a little man with a big problem. Uh, he was rich in the things of the world and poor in the things that mattered. And uh, we talked about that. We talked about the fact that he still wasn't satisfied in spite of the fact that he had obtained the goals he wanted. And I saw that it was um, students were leaning in a little bit more than normal. They were engaged. And so we provided them with an opportunity to put their trust in Jesus Christ for the very first time. And six of them courageously raised their hands and put their trust in Jesus Christ. It was a very special moment. It's not the only time. It's not a one-man show or even a chapel 
uh, operation. It's an entire team. I want to encourage you, if those students weren't here, if they weren't being educated, if they weren't remaining at PBA, they wouldn't get a chance to experience that uh, everlasting change and everlasting joy. And so thank you for that. I just want to encourage you with one verse. Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. Thank you.